So we'll just uh, start getting into the details of the Student Information Analytics application itself. Before we get started, let's explore first uh, what are the business challenges that educational institutions are facing today and how this application will uh, meet those needs. Educational institutions all over the world today are extremely complex organizations. So they're constantly trying to innovate and improve processes in order to provide better quality and the best co possible quality of education at the lowest cost possible. So in trying to do this, they're confronted with a number of different challenges. There are operational and execution challenges, such as making the admissions process efficient and transparent. There is the challenges of managing financial resources, such as student billing and financial aid. And once a student is admitted, the institution has to work very hard to maximize success rate of an extremely diverse student body, while also keeping pace with the fast-changing environment in which there are new teaching methods and there are new learning methods for each student. So the Oracle Inf Student Information Analytics are engineered and built to help educational institutions address just these types of challenges. The application, um, in order to address these challenges, is broken into major, three major content areas. I should add that these content areas are actually broke, further broken down into many specific reporting subject areas, but I'll focus mostly right now on an overview of the major content areas. The recruitment and, and admission subject area, or the content area, provides ways to monitor and measure the admissions funnel, which essentially takes you from recruitment to application to acceptance to enrollment. The efficiency of this entire process can be reported using several KPIs, which measure the efficiency of each step in this process. Student records is another major area that is covered. This includes course level enrollments, grades, and completion information. Administrators can also measure academic process of the entire student body and slice and dice by various demographic and other dimensions. In addition, students can monitor their own academic plan and progress through some self-service dashboards that, we, that come with the application. The third major stu um, content area addressed by the application is student financials. So this covers things such as billing and payments down to the actual transaction level, outstanding dues, aging of the dues, and also uh, items such as the credit histories of student of the student body. The content, this content area that I d just described is um, actually delivered using four major dashboards and more than 100 uh, out-of-the-box reports and drill downs that are built, in, built into these dashboards. The dashboards are tailored so that you can get an inti institutional level KPI and executive overviews and then explore the details of why a particular KPI is increasing or decreasing. You can also get detailed student level information and as I mentioned before, you can expose some of this functionality in a self-service portal which is fully secured by data security that's built into a VIE model. That way, each student sees just only his or her, her own data. So the important thing here uh, to note is that the applications are not restricted to be used by just one set of users in the administration building. Campus executives, like the provost or the dean of admissions, can get, can get direct access to the ad admissions funnel-related metrics, while finance executives, like the bursar or other uh, uh, folks in the billings de billing department may be more interested in how billing, financial aid, and payment processes are working, and they can get dashboards tailored to their business processes. So as I mentioned earlier, there is even an ability to provide some student self-service so they can monitor academic plan, grades, and finances by themselves. To summarize, uh, this application is um, fully integrated into the common information model provided by Oracle BI apps. It has conformed dimensions with the rest of the BI apps and security that is integrated with it. Pre-built content, including ETL using ODI, is provided more than 17 pre-built dashboard pages and 130 or more reports and uh, several hundred metrics, as I mentioned before. The application also supports uh, a number of cross-functional analysis capabilities. So for example, you can analyze 
and tie metrics related to student financials directly to the financial analytics modules like GL and AR. You can also tie course and utilization measures with HR and payroll data to determine department and college level effectiveness. The apps are certified to work with Excelitix and BI Mobile, and they're certified on ETL side with uh, to work with Campus PeopleSoft Campus Solutions 9.0. So key takeaway here, um, the new application comes with a lot of pre-built analytic content that is fully integrated with the Oracle BI apps. The pre-built metrics and KPIs are role-based, and um, the dashboards are tailored towards business processes. And we'll talk a little bit more about how those business processes might flow in the next few slides. <laughs>